Hello and welcome back. I am Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our campaign. Filthy robots. Uh, Imperial ideals. Mm -hmm. Words and stuff and things. Ready? Words, stuff and things. Go ahead. All right, let's do it. What are we doing? We're declaring war on Scandinavia. I am. You are. We both are. Get uh, just think you. I think I'm doing. I mean, I'm going to come help you, but I, I don't have a lot of reason to do it. Besides that. Yet. Uh, when's my truce with Brandenburg up? Pretty soon, it's November of '67. That's that's not very far away. Let's just pull it away. Pull away the wrong province. Right now, I'm just still policing my my nation. It's not a particularly, uh, how would you say? It's just something that has to be done. It's just not very... Exciting? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we got that province unseaged. We got one more set of rebels here to fight. And as far as subject rebellion goes, I've got Magdeburgians. There's the Norman separatists. That's mine. <laughs> Les filthy toilet particulists. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how I enjoy that. Yes. You have young children, right? Yes. Yes, I think your sense of humor is impacted. Slightly. Sorry, it is not, true. Not, not neg I think I think it's just reflective of where you are in life, right? Mm-hmm. All right, next year. Next year what? What happens next year? I get 0.26 yearly prestige increase. Should yeah. mean I go exactly to 75 prestige, so I ought to be able to upgrade to uh, Empire. Which means I get all the fancy stuff, right? Yeah, uh, just one second. I want to see if... Yes, this, this, this might work for me. Portugal... This used to be owned by Granada, surprisingly. There's a Leon core. Caceres. Or I could just not do that and take yeah. something much, much better. You, you, know, so I much, think... you have so much land over there in the New World. Look it's going to be a disgusting amount of... It is a disgusting amount of development. Alright, I want to see, just real quick, would... Uh, okay, Benin would defend him, Morocco would defend him. I think we are going to call these guys in. Is there anyone that could be spat out from down here? No. Moroccan cores, yuck. Yuck! Filthy, they're disgusting. It's gonna be a while until I can actually attack Scandinavia because, unfortunately, uh... There's just problems with it. There's problems with it. Okay, you ready to pause? Yes, go ahead. What? what? This prestige increase is not actually on the yearly tick? No, it's a, it's a monthly tick. I don't think so. I have it is. 74. No, it is not. I have 74.76 prestige. It says in brackets after that, you get 0.26 yearly. Yeah, so divide that by 12. Oh, I see. So you're saying that. Okay, I got it. So yeah. I got to wait a year, you're saying. I see. Yeah, it, it's, a, it's a yearly. That's how much you'll gain over the course of a year. But, yeah, but it's it not a yearly one tick, is... unlike aggressive expansion. Like, why, why are some things yearly ticks and some monthly ticks that are divided over 12? <laughs> I mean, like, why isn't this just more consistent, right? Like, aggressive expansion you know, only ticks on the first. <laughs> you know damn well I have no explanation for why. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. I agree, but there's there's no good explanation. All right. So, uh, if I look, if I mouse over, does it tell me when I mouse over the annexation, it doesn't tell me how long it's going to take. If I want to annex a vassal. Sounds about so right. It'll tell me in a confirmation screen. Okay, it'll be done on July 74. And this one will be done on... November 73. So I need to start the other one first. November 73, July 74. Wait, what? What, Arumba? I can unpause, by the way. Go ahead.
It'd be great if the nobles would stop whining. Huh. They're whining a lot right now. Uh, let's see. Something I never spent enough time on are accepted cultures. The Danish culture. I think we accept that. Let's go ahead and accept the Danes. Uh, because they are not going to be part of my primary culture group. And I am going to expand into their lands at some point. Probably. Maybe. Kind of. Uh, I'm going to take a quick pause again just to see. Check on the status of the Commonwealth. They are currently at 11 reasons to honor the defense of Scandinavia. Now, if I were to attack... There's three other people i got to check real quick. If I attack Liège, I can fight... France again. If I attack Great Britain directly, uh, I end up fighting quite a few people. Liege being one of them as well. If I attack Portuguese Brazil, I can't. I could actually. Did I get my vassals' navies? Or just their mm, armies? Yes. You get their navies, you do not get manpower or leaders or monarch points or money. But you do get their navies and armies. Okay. I need, I need like a Mexican colonial nation. Colonial Mexico. Damn it, New Castile. You've taken all the stuff. Alright, uh, I'm gonna build a network on this guy. Okay, I'm gonna go if you are. Uh, yeah, go ahead. And I'm just sitting here praying that I'm going to actually uh, get... Ah, shoot, I forgot about something. How much of this land do you consider to be of vital interest? Damn it. Damn it, Castile. Ah, shit. Alright, whatever, I'm gonna unpause. I called Castile in and forgot that he is not gonna transfer control of any of Granada to me. Even though I called him in on favors, he wants all of it back and uh, he's not gonna transfer it to me, so I needed to have had a troop down there to siege it so that I could take the land. I see. Oh well. I mean, I guess it is what it is, right? Yep. How would you feel about fighting Great Britain? Well... I don't have it. I don't have anything on the coast over there. They don't have any land troops. So, who else is going to be part of that? And I don't have Le any transport, so I wouldn't be going anywhere. Liege would be. I don't know that I can beat his heavies. Liege would be part of it. I'm okay with that. I'm just gotta like stop clicking this and actually just read it. Okay, February is 74, and I need July of 74, right? I'm just gonna hit a month, that would be March. Are you serious? I four I, more I, months. Okay. I just died again. <laughs> wow. Start in September then. Okay. One second, I just died again, unexpectedly. That sucks. I mean, I've got a great consort, but, like, I was really not being. not expecting to be dead. Right now? At least it wasn't during war, I guess. Yeah, I mean, I'm at negative one stability. Yeah, not great. Hmm. I feel like there's something I'm supposed to be saving my money for, but now I can't remember what it is, so... Yeah, it doesn't sound I'm good. I'm just not going to save it, I guess. Declaration... Declaration of Indulgence, Clerical Dominance, dis Dissolution of mo Monasteries, and Religious Unity. What is Clerical Dominance and when does it go away? Sixty-six June. It's just next month. Okay. All right. Yep. Sorry. I'm ready to go now. Yeah. It's just surprising that uh, that happened. Being at negative stability is not good. Don't say. Yeah, it's generally bad.
But how can I actually take advantage of this then, since I called Castile in? I mean, I don't really want to attack Portugal separately. I actually want to backstab Castile, but I'd like to have a colonial nation before I do that. I can't really get one though. New Castile's huge. One more shitty loan. God damn it. Again, I was at like 68 Spy Network Strength with Scandinavia, and I get caught. Yeah, it's a frustrating mechanic, especially because you can't just immediately put them back for some reason. It's just... oh my god. He's offer from Benin already. And now, advancement of the merchant class. And they're already too high. It's bad. That means I'm gonna have to revoke stuff from them now. Great. It's weird that my smaller vassal finishes before my larger vassal. Or finishes after my larger vassal, rather. Does he have any kind of things that make him cost more to integrate? Like mm. hostile course? The Italian course? Probably. Yeah, he does have Italian course. That affects your. Uh, that affects you as well. Let's see. Diplomatic integration and direct, direct, uh, direct stuff. Okay. So I gotta deal with these damn burgers now, because they're 91% influence and I can't do much. I could demand 1700 ducats in the burgers right now, but if I do that, I can't revoke their land. So much money though. What would I do with all that money if I had it, Filthy? I'd probably give it to me. Not a bad idea. I did just pay off my loans finally. Hmm. Gotta revoke land from them. I don't like that I have to, but I have to. Let's stack them. Why did I not get my overextension mission done? You must still have overextension? Just a hunch? <laughs> yeah, but where? Oh. No, it's just almost not quite done. Probably a province that you didn't have a claim on. Took 10% longer. Yeah. When I started a little bit late because I didn't have full admin. I wish I knew for sure that I could beat England. So I'd like to, to take over his colonial nation. Steal his colonies. You bastard, I remember. It's no good. I decided to eat my vassals. I got tired of them. As useful as they are, huh? They're, they're, my... they're... Oh, what is this? They're gonna finish their cores first though, right? Hope so. Am I getting notifications of separatists rising up in places? Um, I got the pop-up to take my government type. Where do I do that? I just click the upgrade button. Yes, I do. Oh, gain 25 prestige too. Very nice. Mm-hmm. It's a good a one. Cores. Need a bunch of people accepted. That is a good one. And then I want to do what? Something else I wanted to do with this. I can change government types if I wanted to now. And you were you were an advocate of. Well, it's not an availability. There's no that minus that super ridiculous minus monthly autonomy change one is not an op, not an option as a as a oh there it is it's bigger it's actually point one per month. 
an absolute monarchy. Huh. Okay, uh, I am probably ready to unpause here. If you are. Okay. Okay. Mm. I'm around except I suppose. I assume they're maybe done coin this. I guess I don't know for sure. Should be able to see by clicking on it, right? Which one? My vassal stuff, the, the coin. Yeah, you can't actually like see the number, the percent, but you can see a little man pouring. Standing on the province doing the coring. Why can I not see when it will actually finish them? Because I don't know, I already told you, Phil. I don't have a good explanation. Okay. So okay. I just have to guess when it's gonna finish? Roughly. Okay. Roughly. Exciting. I like guessing. Guessing's fun. I know. Hmm. My master of mint is now dead. I have to spend points that I don't want to spend. I gotta spend military points next month. My queen consort is actually probably one of the best I've ever seen. She's a six four two. That's amazing. That's like she's got twelve monarch points as a consort. I like it. I'm happy with that. I'll take that. I'm also like really far ahead on diplo points right now. And uh, that's why I accepted that culture. There's nothing else for me to spend my points on. I guess mercantilism works. Yeah, I gotta spend points too now. I gotta spend points on military. And unfortunately, my burgers are unhappy because of some random pop-up event, which means development cost is plus 10%, but I still have to do it. So otherwise, I'm gonna waste military. Is there anything better to spend on right now than... Uh, it's not, right? It's only legitimacy or development or generals for military points, right? Yeah. I mean, personally, I would roll generals. If, if You've had issues having good generals. Yeah, but I only have 57 army tradition. And I can only hold three generals. And my generals aren't great, but I have a siege general, a combat general, and just a... You think I should just roll a general? Why can I not dismiss this guy? You have uh, full troops. defensives. So you have one guaranteed pip. You've got quantity diplomatic. My moves. leader gives me one guaranteed pip too. He gives me a land leader okay. shock. So you should roll then between five and thirteen is your range. Five and thirteen, seven, eight. This is like right down the middle of that. All right, I'll dismiss. One. I'll do it twice. All right, so where's I can actually get you the the actual number. I'm gonna do it real quick. What were you, your army used to was 57. We have two guaranteed pips. I have 57.4, and I have two guaranteed pips. Yep. So you should have uh, an average then of 9.14 pips, range of 5 to 14. 5 to 14. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, let's let's see. Want to see how it goes? Yeah. Okay. How many pips does he have? Uh, let's see. Conrad is my new new guy, I believe. He has seven nine pips. Nine pips. He's a he's a reject. He's in the 39th percentile. Fire him. <laughs> yeah. I'm just kidding. Ready you again? I'm going to fire him because I'm going to roll one more. You ready for another one? Sure. Oh, this one's much nicer. He has 9, 10, 11, 12 pips. Nice. 88 point second percentile. Very that nice. That is a top tier general right there for yeah. your current numbers. Now, just for, just so you're aware, if you could get to 60 army tradition, instead of your range being 5 to 14, it would be 6 to 15. Yeah. It's just based on that alone, but still. Yeah, I can't do it though. So That's pretty decent. So what are, what are his actual stats? Uh, he ended up as a 2541. So a little bit too much to maneuver relative to everything else, but still it's seven combat pips that's better than I have. Yeah, plus plus we both do like maneuvers, so it's not yep. horrible. I can pause if you're ready. Yes, I'm ready. There we go. Moving on from that. Good. I hate that I can't see now. Now I'm worried they're not going to finish their course. There is a little percent. Are you sure the progress bar doesn't move? 
Let's when see, you... Switzerland is... No, okay, you see the little man? I can't see the number for myself, but there's a little man standing in French Comte. Yeah, I know, I see him. But when I click on the thing, I can see they're currently working on making French French Comte a core, and I yeah. can see a progress indicator. Yeah, 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 you can see the progress indicator, but you can't hover over it and see the exact date. That's okay. what I mean to say. Okay. I don't know why. If, you, if it was your land, you could hover over it and see the exact date. I actually just got really freaking lucky for a little while here. My consort was freaking amazing. Now I have Queen Wilhelmine, that that average strength there that came into power. She's a 544, and now I have a new heir who's a 643. Wow. Like I'm getting some really good luck with my rulers now. That's very he lucky. Was, he was trying to pay me back, I think, for something. I'm not sure what, but I prove. So. Okay, yeah. uh, we gotta take a break. It's time. It's that time right. again already. Can you believe it? I can't oh, I had a couple episodes now without war. That's crazy talk. I know. It feels weird. I know. I, I, it's like you're not screwing me, and I'm not accidentally <laughs> calling in enemies, and we're not getting stack wiped, and it's I don't know what to do. So I guess we'll see you soon. All right. See you in a bit. Thanks for watching.